Male Reproductive System Do you know that the human male body produces nearly 300 million sperms every single day? That's enough to populate several countries in just one week. In this session, we are going to explore the male reproductive system in detail, exactly as described in Class 12 in chart. But I'll also share some interesting facts to deepen your knowledge. By the end of this video, you'll not only master the NCERT content, but also be able to answer tricky questions that often appear in competitive exams. The male reproductive system is designed to perform three main functions. One, production of male gametes or sperms. Two, secretion of male sex hormone, testosterone. Third, delivery of sperm into the female reproductive tract. The system is made up of primary sex organs, accessory ducts, accessory glands, and external genitalia. Let's look at each one in detail. Testes, the primary sex organs. The testes are a pair of oval structures located in the scrotum outside the abdominal cavity. But why outside? Because spermatogenesis, the production of sperms, requires a temperature about 2 to 2.5 degrees Celsius lower than normal body temperature. The scrotum regulates this cooler environment. Each testis is about four to five centimeters in length and two to three centimeters in width. Inside, each testis has about 250 testicular lobules and each lobule contains one to three seminiferous tubules. These tubules are the actual sites of sperm formation. Now within the seminiferous tubules, two important types of cells are present. Sertoli cells, they provide nourishment and support to developing sperm. Germinal epithelial cells. These undergo divisions to form sperm. Between the tubules, you'll also find Leydig cells, also called interstitial cells. These secrete testosterone, the male sex hormone, which regulates male secondary sexual characters like deeper voice, facial hair, and muscle growth. Extra fact. Did you know it takes nearly 74 days for a sperm to fully develop from a germ cell? Accessory ducts. Once sperms are formed, they need to mature and travel through ducts. The accessory ducts include rete testis, a network of tubules inside the testis that collects sperm. Vasa efferentia, carry sperms out of the testis. Epididymis, this long coiled tube stores sperms and allows them to mature. Without the epididymis, sperms would remain immature and incapable of fertilization. Vas deferens, a muscular tube that transports sperms during ejaculation. Ejaculatory ducts. These ducts open into the urethra and are the final passage before sperms leave the body. Accessory glands. To make sure sperms survive and remain active, they are mixed with secretions from three accessory glands. One, seminal vesicles secrete a fluid rich in fructose, which provides energy to sperms. They also add prostaglandins, which help in sperm motility. Two, prostate gland. Produces a slightly alkaline fluid that neutralizes the acidic environment of the vagina, ensuring sperm survival. Three, bulbarethral glands or Cowper's glands. Secrete a mucus-like fluid that lubricates the urethra and helps sperm travel smoothly. Together, the secretions from these glands and the sperm cells form semen. Did you know? Semen contains about 60% fluid from seminal vesicles, 30% from the prostate, and only 10% actual penis. External genitalia. The penis is the male external genitalia. It is made up of spongy erectile tissue that can fill with blood, causing an erection, which helps in transferring sperm into the female body. The urethra, which runs through the penis, serves a dual function. It carries both urine and semen, but never at the same time. Spermatogenesis, how sperm are formed. Now let's quickly revise spermatogenesis, the process of sperm formation. It begins with spermatogonia, which are diploid cells. These divide by mitosis and form primary spermatocytes. Each primary spermatocyte undergoes meiosis I to form two secondary spermatocytes. These divide further by meiosis II to produce spermatids. Spermatids undergo maturation, called spermiogenesis, to become spermatozoa, or sperms. On average, a healthy male produces about 100 to 120 million sperms every day.
Structure of sperm. Let's look at a single sperm. Head contains nucleus with genetic material and a cap-like structure called acrosome, filled with enzymes to penetrate the egg. Middle piece, packed with mitochondria that provide energy for movement. Tail, provides motility, allowing sperm to swim towards the ovum. Quick recap, to summarize, the testes produce sperm and hormones, ducts transport and store sperms, glands provide nutrition and fluid, and the penis ensures delivery. Spermatogenesis ensures a continuous supply of sperms throughout life. Quiz time. Let's check how much you learned. Here are five quick questions. One, which cells in the testes secrete testosterone? A, Sertoli cells. B, Leydig cells. C, germinal cells. D, epididymal cells. Two, spermatogenesis requires a temperature that is A, 37 degrees Celsius. B, 35 degrees Celsius, C, 39 degrees Celsius, D, 34 degrees Celsius, 3. Which gland produces fructose-rich fluid for sperm energy? A, prostate gland B, bulbarathral gland C, seminal vesicles D, liver 4. The site of sperm maturation is A, testis B, vas deferens C, epididymis D, ejaculatory duct 5. Which part of the sperm has enzymes to penetrate the egg? A. Tail B, middle piece, C, acrosome D. Nucleus answers, one Leydig cells, two 35 degrees Celsius, three seminal vesicles, four, epididymis, five acrosome. How many did you get correct? That's it for the male reproductive system. We covered the testes, ducts, glands, penis, spermatogenesis, and structure of sperm. If you found this helpful, don't forget to check out the next lesson on the female reproductive system. Learning biology can be fun when you visualize it clearly. I hope you all enjoy the lesson and memorize everything. Subscribe to the channel for more short last-minute revision videos like these.